In the darkest of times, hope shines the brightest. And in the final installment of Suzanne Collins's thrilling dystopian trilogy, The Hunger Games, Mocking Jay, our protagonist, Katniss Everdeen, embodies this eternal flame of hope. As the narrative unfolds, we find ourselves in the ashes of what was once District 12. The capital has decimated the district, leaving behind a desolate wasteland. Amidst the ruins, Katniss, the girl on fire, is plucked from the smoldering embers and taken to the hidden underground stronghold of District 13. Here, she is asked to become the symbol of a revolution, the Mocking Jay. The underground community of District 13 is a stark contrast to the decadence of the capital. Ruled by the steely president coin, the people of District 13 have been biding their time, plotting their revenge. As Katniss reluctantly agrees to take on the role of the Mockingjay, she strikes a deal, her friends and loved ones must be kept safe. And so, she steps into the spotlight once more, her reluctant heart ablaze with a fervent desire for justice. But the price of war is never without sacrifice. As Katniss and her team of rebels embark on their mission to topple the capital, she is haunted by the ghosts of her past. The screams of Rue, the laughter of Mags, the fierce loyalty of Sinner, they are ever present in her thoughts, fueling her with a fiery determination that will not be quenched. Yet, Katniss's resolve is tested when she learns that Peter, her fellow tribute and the boy with the bread, has been captured by President Snow and is being used as a pawn in a twisted game of manipulation. As the rebels gain momentum, they devise a plan to rescue Peter and the other captured victors. In a heart-stopping scene, the team infiltrates the capital, their bravery shining like a beacon in the darkness. As they break through the fortress, they find Peter, but he is not the same boy they once knew. Tortured and brainwashed, he is a shadow of his former self, filled with hatred towards Katniss, the girl he once loved. The knowledge that she is the target of his venomous rage is a bitter pill for Katniss to swallow. For in the midst of war, she has discovered that her heart is no longer indifferent to the two boys who have been at her side, Gail, her childhood friend and protector, and Peter, the boy who offered her hope when all seemed lost. As the battle for Paynham rages on, so too does the storm within Katniss's heart. The Mockingjay leads her troops deeper into the capital, navigating a labyrinth of deadly traps and treacherous terrain. The games are no longer confined to the arena, the city has become the battleground for survival. As Katniss and her team forge ahead, they encounter a myriad of horrors, each one more terrifying than the last. Yet, with each step, they draw closer to the heart of darkness, the tyrannical President Snow. In the climactic final scenes, the rebellion storms the capital, and the once untouchable city is engulfed in flames. As the tide of war turns in their favor, the rebels face a horrifying revelation, the capital has deployed a new weapon, a pack of grotesque, mutated creatures called, mutts. These abominations are unleashed upon the city, sowing chaos and death in their wake. Katniss's steadfast determination leads her to President Snow's doorstep, where she is poised to end his reign of terror once and for all. But in a cruel twist of fate, it is not President Snow who delivers the final blow. Instead, the capital itself, crippled by the rebellion, crumbles in upon itself, burying the despotic leader beneath its ruins. As the dust settles, the victorious rebels, now led by President Coyne, are left to pick up the pieces of a shattered Paynham. In a shocking turn of events, Coyne reveals her true colors, proposing a final Hunger Games, using the capital's children as tributes. Horrified, Katniss realizes that this new leader is no better than Snow himself. In the midst of the chaos, Katniss's heart has made its choice. Peter, the boy who has fought his way back from the depths of darkness, has proven himself to be her rock, her constant, her true love. And as they stand side by side, preparing to face a future riddled with uncertainty, they know that they are stronger together. But Katniss is not done yet. As the Mockingjay, she has one final arrow to shoot, one last act of defiance. In a moment that will echo through the ages, she aims not at the defeated President Snow, but at the treacherous President Coyne, ending her life and shattering the cycle of oppression. With Coyne's death, Paynham begins the long journey towards healing and rebuilding. A new government is formed, dedicated to fairness and equality. The Hunger Games are abolished, and the districts are free to chart their own course. Katniss and Peter, forever bound by their shared experiences, return to their beloved District 12. Together, they find solace in one another, planting the seeds of hope in the ashes of war. And as time passes, their love blossoms and grows, a living testament to the power of hope and resilience. In The Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Suzanne Collins masterfully weaves a tale of courage, sacrifice, and the indomitable human spirit. Through Katniss Everdeen's journey, we bear witness to the darkness that can reside in the hearts of men and the blazing light of hope that can never be extinguished. And in the end, we are left with a poignant reminder that even in the bleakest of times, the human spirit will always find a way to rise, to fight, and to love.